kids don't like tend not to like therapy and I don't blame them. So it's on it's on the therapist to kind of facilitate an environment where the kid's going to be drawn in. And sometimes that means really just playing games with them for a while until they get used to you. Because, I mean, kid, what kid's going to want to listen to a therapist if they don't know who that person is and they only see them one hour a week? If a kid doesn't want to participate in therapy, that's completely normal. I, I don't take offense to that at all. You work toward building routines and patterns in therapy. You chip away at it. And there are fun ways to get kids involved in therapy that don't have to be super serious. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. Working with parents in therapy with young children is way harder than working with the children. It usually becomes very obvious why children present the way they do once you see the way the parents interact with them, which is why observation is often such an important key part of working with children, where you go observe them in school, you might observe them in the home, you might go behind a one-way mirror and observe them in therapy sessions when they're given a task, or you kind of hang out in the corner of the room while the parents interact with the kid. Kids, kids generally show up the way they've learned to show up based on how their parents reinforce their behavior. So if the kid's not wanting to participate in the session, I'm interested in how the parent responds to that. And I'm working with the parent to develop certain skills for how they can get the child engaged rather than relying on me to be the one that gets the child engaged.